Now, I'm currently taking bets on whether or not everybody on this Rocket Man train lives to tell the tale. So go ahead, place your bets down in the comments below. I'll wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 257, 258 of our One Piece watch today. Now, in the last two, we were we were introduced to this Rocket Man train, a train that can hopefully get our crew to any sloppy to save Usopp and uh, I guess Sanji now too, and figure out what the heck is going on with Frankie in this blueprint. So the Straw Hats, the Frankie family, and the rest of godly love that wasn't corrupted have all teamed up and it's a pretty cool group we're gonna hop right into it see what goes down if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get into the episodes yeah time to shoot the giant wave surely this goes well don't be intimidated yeah they're like outside bro wait they're actually just going to shoot at it wait this seems absurd <gasps> It's Sanji calling. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh no. They know. They're gonna alert T Bone. What? Even the boxer? Uh oh. There is T Bone. Dude, he looks big. Uh, uh, bro. Okay, T Bone already a bit of a weirdo. When my sword plays my heart that gets wounded, it was a bug bite. <laughs> Wait, T Bone seems nice. He's not that intimidating. He, it seemed like he was at first. What? Dude, he's so dramatic. Why he built like that? Where would they escape to? Oh, like before the train even left? What's up now? Oh no, Frankie! Save him, Usami! He saved you! <laughs> they do kind of have a similar energy. So they're really firing at the wave? Wow, that did nothing at all. This is the slowest approaching wave I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh! Are they firing scrap? Well, they tried. Meanwhile, Kogros is drinking. Where is she getting all the wine from? It has to run out eventually. Can't go over it. The wave would just stop them in their tracks, yeah. Dude, how does Chimney always look so calm? Like, this kid is built different. Look at her! She's ready to die! Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> the three kiddos running around. Everybody's got to get filled in one way or another. I love how this is the greatest enemy face yet. Nature. What are you guys going to do? Punch the wave? Luffy stretching? What are you guys going to do? We'll fire. It's a cannon. That, <laughs> Polly's like, that clears up nothing. 108 times two. 216? <laughs> what? Yeah. Keep firing. Yeah. They said keep firing. 300? 300 what? Oh, they were coming up with a name for what they're going to do? It's going to cut. I know it's going to cut. I'm prepared mentally for it. 300 pound can't you know there was like a split second there where it, it kind of like dropped off i was like oh they're not gonna cut and i was like getting back into it these bastards that run this show so are they just hitting it at the same time calling it a 300 pound cannon oh my god they straight up blew all on the wave but it kind of worked i think they're gonna go right through that they're still on the tracks Everybody's just dying. Kokoro just keeps drinking. My goodness. He's like, I ain't dying sober. Bush. 
I sort of like built like a tunnel in the wave. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. I guess they were just creating a path for the tracks. That's what they needed to do. They didn't need to destroy the whole wave. I see the light. How long is this sequence? Oh, with little stick figures on it. <laughs> Kokoro, bro, maybe she's the psychopath. They made it. It's so quiet. Let's go! And the train keeps on chugging, baby. Hell yeah. They just witnessed the, the power of Luffy and Zoro together. All right, hopefully that's the last really big wave out of all of them. I feel like they can make it past that. They can make it past anything. <laughs> you were, but they saved you. Why do I feel like there's gonna be another wave? I thought I was gonna pull one of those. We made it! And then the camera pans and it's just like that same wave times four. Yeah, we're chilling. That's what I was saying. Like, is that it? How much further? Like, through at least the storm itself. <laughs> we'll talk to Sanji, or Sanji wants to talk to him. Yeah, they're, they're probably not going to be able to go much further into the train. Such, such a weird dynamic with Usopp right now. They still care so much about him. It's so, so goofy. They should not fight them. Well, I mean, either fight them now or fight them at any lobby where there's probably many, many more people. True. I mean, at least he has Frankie and Usopp. Oh. <laughs> Damn. He would, he would ignore what Luffy has to... Why would you break it? Oh, my. What did Frankie want to ask him? <laughs> You're actually psychotic, Luffy. I get he wants to catch up and get there, like, faster, but... Faster than the limits. It's gonna fall apart, man. And if it does, they're just screwed. There's nowhere to go, nothing to do. Also, when it gets there, how are they gonna stop? I just thought about that. If there's no brakes, they're just gonna crash into whatever they, they find. Sacrificed herself. <laughs> you gonna make a song about it, Frankie? But he brought his guitar. Oh, I forget how large his forearms are. Those things are massive. It's said to be. Yeah. Yeah, you get it, Frankie. He's gonna go. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Dude, there's no way. I mean, it's CP9. Yeah, true. They do have a similar objective. What? Usopp. Usopp, bro. Oh my gosh. Because you're fighting for what's right. I know what you want to be a part of. Oh, so he's blaming himself. He's not saying... Oh. I was almost mad at him at first, but... More feel bad. Talk some sense into him, Sanji. Come on. No! Ay, ay. Well, guess it's just Sanji and Frankie. They hurt T-Bone's men. He's going to use a scrap for everybody. Wanze. Huh? Wanze and Nero. I think these are the ones that were name drops when CB9 was talking about it. Like a briefing. Why is that window open? My goodness. Oh, no. Is he going to see them? Oh, no. Oh, this is awkward. What? Usopp? Usopp just murdered that man. Ah! He told me everything? What is this? Is this just Usopp's excuse to hell? Is this like an alter ego? Soge King. Soge What is this, man? I mean, hey, if it's what he needs to tell himself to help, then by all means, have this alter ego. I don't care. At least he's helping. Episode 258, let's get it. Sniper Warrior. But he's got his own title card. He has his own, like, sequence. 
He has his own song and backstory. Lulu la la lu. Look on. Oh my god, he's gonna kill the cat rabbit. Lulu la la. Run away. Where did he even get this outfit from, bro? So gay, so gay, so gay. This is so goofy, bro. Sniping. <laughs> Dude, Usopp got a good voice. What the hell? Lulu la la lu. Yeah, let him say what he needs to tell to himself. It's a cool mask. He's still just going with the song. Oh, now they're a trio again. Dude, I just... CP9 is CP9. Oh my god, Usopp, this is so dumb. He just ignored him. He's <laughs> gonna keep going. <laughs> Are you strong? He's pretty strong from what we've seen. He just needs Coca-Cola to fuel himself. Time to devise a plan. For a second, I thought we would see Rocket Man like coming up on them. But there's no way it catches up. Oh, was this them reacting to the what's it called, 300 pound cannon thing? Oh. I lost! Oh my God, mommy! She just shaved in front of everybody. <laughs> nice shamelessness. They're called the Square Sisters. Corrupt society. Yeah, shut up. Let them dress how they want. Let's go, go, girl. <laughs> That's so mean. Luffy's trying to store food. Yeah, why is he wearing black shorts? Wait, Chopper's little coat! We all have new fists! Hell yeah! What weapon? Oh, let's go! Claim attack to upgrade! Hell yeah! Oh, guys, come on! That's right, it's Usopp's. Dude, I can't get over Usopp's mask, bro. They got on beforehand. Mm -hmm. God, do they scare me? After what, how we saw, how powerful we saw they are, I would have expected it at first. I would expect them to be a, a strong opponent, but like I see them as unbeatable, at least right now. I'm not very scared of T-Bone, if I'm being honest. He's probably strong, but. They're just knocking. Oh my god. They're just going in. Oh. Wait, they're baiting them outside. I think. Are we going to get over the fact that Usopp literally murdered somebody? He knocked him off the, the train. Sorry, not Usopp. Soga King murdered somebody. My apologies. Maybe they want to bait them there and then they go around like so they bait them to all the go all the way to seven then go up and over maybe and get to robin the thing is they can't escape until the train gets to its destination hurry so gay <laughs> t-bone's a unit my gosh kind of scares me oh fat sword too crooked sword attack Whoa, wait, that was so cool. If it does something. Um, okay, maybe, just possibly, I underestimated T-Bone a little bit. I mean, to be a Navy captain, you gotta be somewhat strong at the very least. So yeah, I probably did underestimate him a decent amount. Board, Soge, board. Why can't I already predict how this goes in terms of Luffy having absolutely no idea that that's Usopp? Whenever they eventually, they have to reunite at some point. That Luffy's gonna have no idea who it is, and then everybody else can be like, Luffy, that's very clearly Usopp. Very clean. Doesn't like crooked. I think it was Zoro. He would get some respect from Zoro. Oh, they're going! 
Hurry! Maybe they want to trap them. Like they're going to board up the other side so they can't get in. Or are they going to try to like detach the train? Wait, maybe? Wait, that would kill everybody in these cars. Like actually. Oh! Oh my God, they actually did it. Five head. Oh my gosh. Wait, they just die. Everybody in those cars. Wait, no. Rocket Man's gonna get them. It's gonna run right into them. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. These guys are just dying, bro. You do not live from mauling in the ocean out here. Oh no. Those are the big guys you need to worry about. CP9. These guys are just the grunts and whatnot. Fruit a sortie. Let's go, Soga King! Boom! I can't tell. Is Frankie? I feel like Frankie might be stronger than Sanji, actually. He has so much. I mean, it just depends on his stamina. Wait, so he can be shot and it doesn't matter? How much of him is metal? How much of himself did he rebuild? Oh my gosh. I thought it was just his nose and like his arms that were metal. So I guess his chest he opened and that's where he put the sodas. Okay, yeah, I, I think Sanji uh, is weaker than, than Frankie. What a giga chad. He's a cyborg. I wonder what else he's hiding in his body too. Hurts a little sometimes. Oh yeah, because it's still skin, I think. I want to know the details. The world is a big place. Oh my god, Usopp. I feel like Usopp would be very curious by everything about like Frankie too. Because it's sort of like an invention just in his body. Oh, the back is... Oh. He couldn't reach the back. So back's like his weak point. Oh, okay. Well, it tends to feel cold. Yes, the sodas. <laughs> That's handy. Yeah, but he uses them for fuel. Seems like it. And then whenever he's out of fuel, his hair kind of falls. Onwards they go. <laughs> it is a gauntlet, man. Oh. Doc Brown? Wanzei? They, they said Wanzei son, right? Is he a captain? What is this, bro? Oh, it's a kitchen. This is Sanji's environment. Is he the cook? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wanzei. Sure. We'll take a meal. You guys can probably just walk past them. Why are you telling them what your nose hair looks like? Why? Why? I don't want whatever you're making. He strains them through his nose. That is disgusting. That's why they're in that pattern. Oh my god, that is so gross. Wanze. Step aside. No way he stands in their way. This guy's a goofball. Come on, Wanze! Does it say mad? It's on roller skates? Ramen Kenpo? This is kind of a cool matchup because Sanji's the cook. The only thing I can think of is similar was that that woman he fought that wanted to also be the world's greatest cook all the way back in Logetown. This kind of gives me the same vibes. He's just crazy. Dude, Frankie is so cool. <laughs> There's no way he's that strong, man. I feel like he's just gonna be like smoking mirrors, like trickery. Yeah, you disrespect the craft, that's what I said! <laughs> this was a guy! Yeah, for real, he's fast. It's the skates. He's a psycho, man. He's just burning time. Uh, <laughs> I said it's a, it's apropos. 
Then Sanji fight him. I think you guys should stay together if I'm being honest. As the lead strategist of this team. All right, and so this adventure continues. I like this. I didn't expect, I, I expected the entire thing, like the, the, I guess the trip to NA's lobby to be kind of skipped over because I thought like genuinely our crew would be stuck in water seven, but it's like these, this little adventure type trial on the way there. And it's a really cool adventure because it, it for some reason, I don't know if it should. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It is giving me the vibes of Polar Express that, that Chris movie just in a much wackier crazier fashion because it's this train where you're stuck in this linear fashion but there's trials on the way and, and you're all together and you have to figure it out together and it feels very cozy for that sense i don't know why i don't know if it should maybe it's because we're going to this place that i'm very terrified of and it just kind of feels like we're safe until then in a sort of way even though they're not they're on the train with cp9 but everything just I, I, like i said it just feels like this fun adventure that i love but guys that's been for episodes 257 258 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i will catch you guys in the next one peace peace